welcome students so how are you all i hope you all are well and healthy so in our previous videos we have learned regarding himalayas and on some states fall in the himalayas right so today we will cover the rest part of the chapter which is the story of seven sisters okay so here we will learn regarding the life of people in, in those states okay just little bit we know regarding purvanchal race right we have learned it earlier so as we all know it is present in the eastern border of india and enters myanmar and that these ranges are located in the states of arunachal pradesh manipur meghalaya mizoram nagaland assam and tripura this range is also known as patkai range okay now these states are connected to the rest of india by a narrow strip in west bengal and that is called what Shiliguri Corridor or Chicken Snake. Okay, so the first about which we will learn is Assam. So Assam is the northeastern state of India. The capital of Assam is Dispur, and it lies between Brahmaputra and the Bar Barak River valleys, and it is full of greenery and it receives high rainfall, and it is surrounded by other six northeastern states. Okay. It shares international border with Bhutan and Bangladesh. Okay, as we all know, Assam is very famous for its tea garden, right? So, beside this, handloom and handicraft are also very famous. And Assam has successfully conserved the famous one-horned Indian rhinoceros from extinction. Extinction means what? Means when it is no more. And Kaziranga National Park is one of the popular. tourist destination so the next state is arunachal pradesh so the capital of this state is itanagar it is rich in flora and fauna okay so terrace farming domestication and breeding of yak and mountain sheep is very popular in this place okay the crop which is extensively grown in this region is rice and pisciculture is also practiced here so what do you mean by pisciculture it means the control breeding and rearing of fish okay here number of places are there where people can visit like the ganga lake tawang monastery namdafa tiger reserves okay these are some of the examples okay and it is also very popular for its adventure sports like river rafting trekking hiking and boating okay so various tribes of people live here and some important festival which are celebrated here are ray dri nyakom solum and losar now our next state about which we will learn is manipur so the manipur lies in which part as we all know we are learning about north eastern part so it also lies in the north eastern part of india and imphal is the capital city people of different tribes are present there like kuki naga pangal and mezo and the main language of manipur is manipuri okay and important places to visit here are kaibul lamja national park and loktak lake crops that are widely grown here are turmeric ginger vegetables and fruits now regarding dance form so manipuri style of dance is very famous and it's mostly represent the ras leela important festivals like ningal chakoba and yaushang are celebrated okay and Manipur has given the world the modern version of polo. It means the, the modern version of polo was introduced in Manipur. Okay. Now the next state about which we are talking is Meghalaya. So, so Shillong is the capital of Meghalaya. The district of Khasi, Garo, and Jantia together form this state. Okay. And here people are mostly engaged in agriculture. And the main crops which are grown here are rice, maize, potatoes, pineapples, and bananas okay so the tribal people of meghalaya are khasis garos jantia boros and koch okay and the main language which is spoken here are khasi garo and english okay so the highest peak which is present in meghalaya is the shillong peak so now regarding festivals right festival and various dance so the most important festival which is celebrated in meghalaya is Kasak Sukh Mensiam. It's a Thanksgiving dance to come. Laho dance is the folk dance of Meghalaya. So, which is the folk dance of Meghalaya? Laho dance. Okay. Now, 
Moss syndrome near Chirapunji records the maximum annual rainfall in the world. Means it is the wettest place in the world. Okay, and there are number of waterfalls present in this state. So what are they? Elephant Falls, Bishop Falls, and No Kalikai Falls. Okay. Now Meghalaya also has many lakes, wildlife sanctuaries, and national parks. And the most important one is the Nokrek National Park. Okay, so the next state about which we will discuss now is Mizoram. Now, first we will know regarding its capital. So, the capital of Mizoram is Azar. Okay. And the highest peak which is present in Mizoram is the Blue Mountain. And it is also called Fangkui Nang. The largest river in the state is Kaladan and the biggest lake is the Pala Lake. Okay, so, so there are many tribes present in Mizoram. Okay. And they are very much fond of music and they love playing with the guitar okay so agriculture is the main occupation of the people of Mizoram and the women of Mizoram wear a traditional costume with beautiful traditional design which is called Puan okay and it is like a wrap around skirt so the next place about which we will talk now is Nagaland Okay, so it lies in the far northeastern part of India and the capital of Nagaland is Kohima. Okay, and the largest city which is present in Nagaland is Dimapur. The highest peak of Nagaland is Mount Saramati. And now uh, Nagaland is a mountainous state with a number of tribes. And the most important tribes among them are the Nagas. Okay, and here also the most important activity is agriculture. Okay, they grow crops like potatoes. Sugar can, oil seeds, tobacco, pulses, millets, corn and rice. Okay. And the Nagas wave beautiful shawls with unique design and bright colors. Okay. A grand hornbill festival is held every year during the month of December. And in this festival, they showcases the culture of Nagar. As we all know that it has a number of tribes, right? Every tribe has its own language which they use. But the most commonly spoken language here is Nagamis. Places of tourist interest are Wawade Waterfall and Kisama Heritage Village. These are some of the tourist spots. Okay, and the most popular dishes of this state is Anishi and Akhoni. Okay. Now, the last state about which we will learn is Tripura. So, Tripura is also one of the northeastern state of India and the capital of Tripura is Agatala. Okay, it is very much densely forested area. Densely means what? It, it is mostly covered with thick forest. And cane and bamboo grow in abundance. Abundance means here in large number. Okay, now this region receives very heavy rainfall during the monsoon season. So, in the monsoon season, they, they face heavy rainfall. Okay, and it is, as we all know, it is densely forested, right? So, it is very much rich in flora and fauna. Many wildlife sanctuaries and national parks like Clouded Leopard National Park and Sipahi Jalan Wildlife Sanctuaries are found in this place. Here, the people depend on agriculture and grow crops like sugarcane, rice, pulses and jute. And the important cash crop of this state is rubber and Okay, some handicrafts which are extensively practiced in this place here in the states are wood carving, bamboo product, and cane weaving. Okay, now people of Tripura are very fond of dance and music, and they also use some musical instruments, which are sarinda and sumoi. Garia and jhum are some of the dance form of this state. Now, regarding their dress. Here the women wear a three-piece dress called Rignai, Risa and Rikutu. And men wear Kamchalvi Bolo. And now it is most people wear Western food. Okay. Okay. So in this video we have learned regarding the stairs which fall in the northeast part. Okay. So what are they? Assam, Meghalaya. Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland and Tripura. Okay. So these are the states which are present 
in the northeastern part of our country. So I hope you have gone through the previous videos also of this chapter so that you will be able to understand this chapter nicely. Okay and thank you for being with me and have a good day.